Angelisha and welcome to my channel. So thank you very much guys for everyone who watched my recent upload. Thank you very much. If you haven't watched it yet, I have put the link in the description section below so you can check it out. There are also some videos there that can give you ideas if you want to do some keto baking or if you want to have some foods that you can have for dinner that is low carb and keto friendly. So ever since I started doing this low carb and keto diet, our number one no-no is bread. Yes, we are not allowed to have any bread at all because they're made of starch and as you know, starch equals carbs. So we're not allowed and I'm missing bread so much. And I used to do like a lot of keto baking, like low carb bread. Some of the bread recipes that I tried was a bit too eggy for me. I just didn't like it. Or maybe I'm not baking it properly. I don't know which is which, but it's just not for me. I used to buy this bread from this company in the UK. They're seriously low carb. Their bread's really nice. But I just thought maybe I can do something or I can make something on my own because as you know, freshly baked breads are really amazing. By the way guys, if you're liking this video, please smash that like button and put some comments in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be updated with my future uploads. So for today guys, what I wanted to show you is my version of Keto Yeast Bread. Here are our ingredients for our keto yeast bread. So I will be using 240 ml of lukewarm water. I've got 1 4 teaspoon of Himalayan salt. I will be using coconut oil and I got this from Tesco. You can just check your local supermarket. They normally have coconut oil there. I will be using fast action yeast and I got this from Morrison's. I will be using almond flour and I got this from Costco and it is Kirkland. I'm using Vital Wheat Gluten and I got this from Amazon. I will put the link down below so you can check it out. In the Philippines, you can always check shop, Shopee or Lazada. So this is our sweetener. So we're not going to use a lot but we are only using about one teaspoon of this but I will show you later the measurements. For our equipment, I will be using my stand mixer and I've got dough hook in there. And then I also got this baking spray. I will use them when I put our dough in my baking pan. So this is the pan that I am using. So let's prepare our keto yeast bread. For our almond flour, I'm going to measure 135 grams or one and one half cups. For our vital wheat gluten, I am going to measure 125 grams. For my coconut oil, I will be measuring 38 ml. So I have put in the microwave my coconut oil and melt it. I put it for about 30 seconds and then what we'll do, we'll let this cool because we don't want it really hot. So we'll put it into one side but that is now melted. For our inulin powder, we are going to measure 1 teaspoon.
So now what we are going to do is we are going to combine our dry ingredients. So first up, we are going to add our almond flour in our bowl. And then we are going to add our vital wheat gluten in here. For our yeast, I'm going to use one sachet which is 7 grams. So I will be using this. And now we are going to add this into our mixture. Now let's add our Himalayan salt. And also we are adding our inulin powder. Now we are going to add our coconut oil. And now we are going to add our lukewarm water slowly. So as you can see, it is slowly coming together. So we've got our last of our warm water. We're going to put this and then after this, we're going to put it in our hand or stand mixer rather. So here it is now. So now we are going to attach our mixing bowl to our stand mixer and we are going to mix it at low speed for about 5 to 7 minutes. On the last minute of our mixing the dough, we are going to adjust the mixer to medium speed. I will use my baking spray to grease my pan. So for our dough, which is this one, we are going to take it out and we are going to do it like this and put it in our pan. So once it is there, I'm going to put some slices on top. So here it is. So now what we are going to do is we are going to put 
cling film on top of this. We have now put our cling film on top and we are going to rest our dough for 40 minutes. So after 40 minutes, here is our dough. Look at that. Really good. It has risen. There you go. So now I preheated my oven. This will now go into our oven for about 40 to 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Here is our keto yeast bread, so as you can see, you got the good rice, there you go, you got the crunch as well, look at that. So let's try our keto yeast bread. So here it is. There you go. Let's try this. Oh, that's so nice. I really like this. Mm. I really love the taste of this bread. You've got the texture of the normal bread. You've got the crust and the crunch of the normal crust. And it doesn't taste eggy, it doesn't taste any other things apart from it tastes like bread. So this is a very quick and easy bread recipe that you can try at home, especially if you were doing keto diet. The macros will be in the description section below so you can check out how many carbs per slice of this bread. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and put some comments in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be updated with my future uploads. Thanks guys for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye!